Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, maybe some vlogs. So if you are interested in any of those items, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. So in today's video, I am going to go a little more in depth about how I organize my closet and then we'll talk about some things that I love about the closet and then some things that I would change if I were to do this closet over again. So if you are interested in that, please keep watching. So first we're going to start with the drawers in my vanity and in this top drawer is where I keep all of my makeup brushes these are the clean ones so i keep them here in this drawer is where i keep just some miscellaneous things so i have some cotton rounds q-tips some extra press-on nails and in this little box i keep my eyelashes i am obsessed with these individual clusters and they are um, press-on lashes so no glue is required these are literally the only ones that I can put on. So I love those. In this drawer, I just have a lot more miscellaneous things. I have all of my contact lenses here. I do use daily contact lenses, so I change them out each day and I keep them here. Luckily for me, the prescription in both eyes are the same. So I can just pick up any two and put them in. And I don't have to worry about if I have the right prescription in the right and eye. These are just samples that I get when I place orders. So I keep them all in here. Some more samples. The sunscreen that I'm loving at the moment from Walmart. And then this is a, another sunscreen that I picked up from e.l.f. I haven't tried this yet. And then I have like extra perfume. Like I said, I'm obsessed with this size perfume. So when they're on sale, I just buy a few of them so I can replenish when they run out. And of course, I have to have my full bottle of the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. That is one of my favorites. And this is the travel version. So that is what I keep in this drawer. This drawer, I just have some makeup wipes. And I think I have... Oh, these are... Flexi rods, I believe. I'm not sure. I hope it's nothing crazy. As I open this up. Yeah, so these are flexi rods for my hair. And then these are a bunch of masks. So these are a bunch of face masks, hand masks, and feet masks. So that's what I have inside this drawer. And in this bottom drawer, this drawer is a mess. It's just a bunch of makeup products that have no organization. I need to seriously fix this because it's giving me anxiety. But that's what I have in this drawer. And in this top drawer, I just have like my lotion, deodorant, moisturizer in this drawer. This drawer, I just have a bunch of lip gloss. This drawer is where I keep all of my foundation. So these are the ones, of course, that are opened. And then back here are the extra ones. And I am loving this Chanel water tint. And then I found this dupe by CoverGirl. So I feel like these are very similar. Get it to focus, yeah. So I feel like this is very similar to the Chanel. So if you wanted to give that a try. And this drawer is where I keep my setting powders, my bronzer. Um, this is a highlighter. I have some eyeshadow palettes. And this is another brand that sells some really good eyelashes. It's called Jay's Beauty Bar. You can find her also on Instagram. She is a makeup artist as well. But I have tried her lashes and I do. And in this last drawer, it's just some additional um, miscellaneous items. Have some body spray, some eye care products and razors just some extra things so that is what i keep in the drawers inside of the vanity and then if we and over in this drawer is where i keep like all of my hair accessories pins or rubber bands and that drawer the second drawer is where i keep brushes and combs this drawer is where i keep headbands 
this drawer is where I keep oils and some additional hair products down here. So this is what I have in this drawer. So this is a quick overview of the way that I store my jewelry. I do have these stackable trays that I can move back and forth. I can even remove the trays if I need to reach a tray that is beneath it. And I do have three levels here. So again, I'm just showing you how I can move the trays back and forth. I can pick them up. And I do organize my jewelry by the color of the metals, keeping my gold together, my silver together, and then my mixed metals together. So again, here is how I organize my jewelry. Now let's get into the way that I store my shoes. Before I get into that though, I do want to let you know that I keep my boots in a different part of the house just because I don't have a designated space here in my closet for them. So they are upstairs in a different closet. But for the shoes that I do have in my closet, as you can see, I have them spread it out throughout the closet and displayed in several different ways just depending on where they are stored. So, um, as you can see, I have a couple of pair of shoes underneath my bench, and then I have um, shoes displayed on my top shelf. I have my shoes lined up there, and I like to keep the shoes together by the style. So, as you can see, these are all in my open toe sandals with the block heel and the stiletto heel. So I have those stored here and then I keep all of my pumps here and then I have shoes with the corresponding handbags. And so how I stored my pumps here, I wanted to maximize the space. So I decided to put one of the matching shoes up front and then have the matching pair behind it just so that I could put more pairs of shoes on the shelf versus having them side by side and limiting the space. So that is what I decided to do for these two shelves here. And then the next thing that I want to talk about is my lighting. So I will go and I have the switch here to turn on my lights. I have another one on this side and then and this is what the switch looks like and then I have this one here for that area so this is an overview of what the shelves look like with the lighting I'm going to turn off the main light and this is a, another and this is another look of it in the dark and I don't know if I shared with you in the previous video, but this is the light fixture that I currently have in the closet. And I am using daylight bulbs. And the last thing I wanted to share are these valet rods that I picked up from Amazon. I do have two of them. And these are very helpful for when you want to like put together an outfit. You can just hang it here and um get your day started so if i wanted to hang like my dress there or if i wanted to hang a handbag or something like that so these are very helpful and useful to have in a closet and i absolutely love them so now that I've talked a little bit about how I organize things in my closet, I would like to share with you some things that I love about the closet and then some things that I would change. So starting with some things that I love about the closet, I love the fact that I have the different sections set up for the different categories of my closet. So I know when I'm looking for something dressy, some slacks or a dress top, I know that I will look on this side of my closet. I know when I want to wear something long, a dress or a cardigan, I can go to this side of the closet. Or if I want something casual with some jeans and a blazer, then I can go to this side of the closet. So I love that I have that separation. I love the fact that I have my vanity area where I can come and sit down and do my skincare, do my makeup. I love that I have a space where I can separate my hair products from my skincare and beauty products. I also love the fact that I have this little bump out section 
in between here where I can just keep things that are out of the way. And this bump out goes all the way to the end of the wall this way. So on this shelf behind my long hanging items, I have things that if I don't want to be seen, I keep them there. So like extra boxes, extra bags, I have them on the shelf back here under my long dresses and you can't see those. So I love that. So as far as the strip lights are concerned, those are currently my favorite lights that I have in the closet. So I have, initially I had the battery operated little round puck lights and I did like those because it was a little cleaner. You didn't have to worry about hiding the cords, but then I felt like the batteries were running out every other week. So I had to continuously buy batteries to replace them. So that was getting old and very expensive. So I threw those out and ended up buying the other puck lights that you can see in the vanity. Um, so I had those lights and they were the ones that you would plug into an outlet. About, but, then I, but I didn't really like those lights either because I could only see um, the little beam from the circle. So I didn't really care for that as much either so that's why i went with the strip lights i love that it's just a seamless brightness throughout the whole area where they are placed and i don't have to see that separation from the beam around the circle so, so those are my thoughts on the lighting and while we're talking about things that i would change about the closet the next thing i want to talk about are hangers so i currently have the black wooden hangers because like i said i want to go for like the boutique look the boutique feel so i chose the wooden hangers but baby those hangers are pricey and like i said i've had this closet for a little over nine years now so it's starting to get a lot of wear and tear on these hangers a few of them have already broken so it's like what now I have to go out and buy more wooden hangers and uh, yeah I'm not really feeling that so let me just give you a closer look so these are the hangers they're just black wooden hangers and if I were to do this all over again I would choose the black velvet hangers and the reasoning why I would choose the black velvet hangers over the wooden hangers is for number one you see how thick these hangers are they do take up a lot of space and I feel like the velvet ones are a lot thinner and for number two depending on the material of your clothing they will fall right off the hanger so this is a silk blouse and it will fall right off this I had to add this velvet sticky fabric that I picked up from Michaels to a few of my hangers just so items that slip off easily would be more secure so I had to do that for a few of my tops and then i also had to do it for a few of my pants and i will so here are a pair of pants and so i added that same velvet material to the bottom of the hanger so that my pants wouldn't slip off so that is one thing i would definitely change about this closet another thing that i would change about the closet is maybe make it a little bit bigger i do think this is a nice size closet and i don't know the actual measurements but i'll find them out and pop them up on the screen but if i could just have it a little bit bigger so that i could have like an island in the middle of the floor i would really love that and then maybe a different seating area i do have the section right here where i could sit but if i could have um just a different seating area i would really but if i could just have a different seating area that would be really nice but and then the last thing that i would change if i were redoing my closet is my vanity setup like i said i did use a bookshelf for my vanity so i can't slide my chair underneath the desk part so if i could have just a true vanity where i could slide my chair out of the way underneath the desk that would be ideal so those are the things that i would do differently about the closet but all in all i love the closet the way that it is i love the way that i have it set up and it's just a space that i really enjoy being in so i hope that you enjoyed this video you were able to pick up a few tips for your own closet and if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below but before you leave don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i will see you in the next one bye so if you'd like to hear more about So if you'd like to get some of those closet tips, please keep watching.